Hello Internet, Brian here from work to game and today I want to dive in to the question that was asked at the live Q&A with Yoshi P at the Las Vegas Fan Fest this year. And that is, does the team have plans to bring Final Fantasy XIV to the Nintendo Switch? Yoshi P restated that one of the goals of Final Fantasy XIV is to bring it to as many platforms as possible and that they really want to see it on the Switch as well as the Xbox One. But at this time they couldn't really comment on it but they would let us know as soon as they had something to announce. I've long been a proponent of bringing Final Fantasy XIV to the Xbox. It's a freaking Windows machine for crying out loud. But this has been a long standing battle with Microsoft and countless interviews have been had where Yoshi P and the team have said, let's go ahead and do this. And Microsoft puts restrictions that Yoshi P feels would break the community. So I fully support Yoshi P and his vision on this, despite the fact that I want this game to come to the Xbox One. The best news is on this front is that Microsoft and Square Enix are still in talks and we haven't been updated on this yet. But I was thinking at the North American Fan Fest would have been the time to make that announcement. But if they're still finalizing details, it might be a while before we learn more at this time. But the big question is regarding bringing the game to the Nintendo Switch. It's interesting. Namely, number one, I, we really don't know much about the system. And number two, Final Fantasy XIV is going to, if it's going to be able to be uh, run on that system... At a minimum, they need to support a, you know, a, a large enough memory storage to even play the game. And I don't mean an external hard drive because it's this hybrid portable system that they showed off. There is no way that I'm going to be messing around with external storage for this game. But let's assume the Switch has the memory to support an MMO like Final Fantasy XIV. How could that even work? Well, in my opinion, internal storage would be the best option but if they're showing off these cartridges then they can support large sets of data, maybe they would even allow the cartridges to handle the updates that the game needs rather than relying on internal storage. Going away from obviously optical media and being that SD cards can now support one terabyte of data, I think there might be a good spot for this type of support. If this was to happen, uh, this would actually be the first numbered Final Fantasy game on a N Nintendo platform in a very long time. Personally, if Final Fantasy XIV is released on the Switch, I'm totally going to have to pick it up. I've played Final Fantasy XIV on the Vita, and while that was novel, it's difficult to do many things to do on that form factor of that size. Hopefully, the tablet mode of the Switch is easier to play around with. I love to be able to play XIV on the go, and not that I need a cell plan to be a part of the system, but the Vita wasn't very comfortable, and streaming the game was really only okay. Running it natively with the comfort of something like a kind of a Wii U gamepad size device seems like a really cool idea in my opinion. But this leads to the final point of concern. Since we currently know nothing regarding the specs for the system, I have to wonder how powerful it really is. With the PS3 support being dropped with 4.0, even if the Switch is way more powerful than a Wii U, which was considered to be slightly more powerful than an Xbox 360 PS3, are we reintroducing a platform that would only last for an expansion's lifetime? Let's assume for a moment that when the, the system, the Switch is docked, it's as powerful as a PS4. They did show it playing Skyrim in the trailer, which gives me hope. If that works out just fine and should run the game just fine, but if it scales down when running in tablet mode, would the game even be able to run? I'm sure Nintendo will want the games to support the core feature of the system by being able to switch from console to tablet, so I'm sure that Final Fantasy XIV would need to do both if the system can support it. Anyway, so what do you think? Are you planning on picking up a Nintendo Switch? Would Final Fantasy XIV be a game that you want to play on it even if you do? Let me know in the comments below, and you know, please let me know if you like this video. Obviously, um, there's still a lot of unknowns. And personally, I will be following this, you know, very closely as we move into Stormblood, as well as as we learn more about what the Nintendo Switch is. So uh, <laughs> it seems like two of my great passions are coming together with uh, with this. And that would be really exciting for me. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. You have a fantastic day.